I speak and then I think about what I've just said and figure out whether it was the right thing to say or not. Which is why I'm in a garage out here on my own and not in the public <laughs> eye. <laughs> Steve K, thanks for having us. Oh, thank you for coming. Morning! <laughs> Are you able to just briefly go over the process of um, bean from the sack to the cup? Right. We'll start at the top, shall we? So this is your green bean. We drop it down into the into the main roasting chamber. It'll rumble around in there for approximately 15 minutes. Go through a number of changes in colour. It will expand really rapidly. It'll drop all of its skin. It's a bit like the snap, crackle and pop when you put milk on your rice. How did you get into this game? So I was living in Mochaweka picking apples. It wasn't a a big fan of because it involved actual work. Headed from much a week at a Golden Bay and we ended up going up to the cafe Collingwood in Golden Bay. Managed to draw that for about three months <laughs> <laughs> and in that time I had wriggled my way into the cafe. I found it striking the cost of coffee even back then. I mean this is 20 years ago. If we charge people this amount this product needs to be the best I can possibly get it. From that point I really grabbed the ball and ran with it and I've been in coffee ever since. Now this is a cooling chamber and you can feel the air coming through, can you feel it? <laughs> then I'll drop this into the tea stoner, stuck with the beans up into the big hopper. This style of coffee, a dry roast, where the oil stay on the inside of the bean, as opposed to filthy, dirty Italian roast, it's not my cup of tea. It's really, really difficult to get this coffee wrong. Steve is our coffee man, he brings in the beans. He popped in five minutes ago, gave me a good old lesson on wolf whistling, and then uh, ran out full of beans. He's a really cool guy. Then you really want to make sure that the settings on the coffee machine is right to have like the best coffee shot. I love my coffee to kick me in the mouth on the way through. You want to know that you've had it, you know, at the end of the day it's a, um, it's a, uh, drug. Yeah. And you're our dealer. Spent a long time in Golden Bay and Nelson, which in its own way is stunning, but nothing quite as... Can you see? This was paradise. It was utterly paradise. I still see it as paradise. I still don't know where else I would go, where I would be happier than where I am right now. I've dealt with them, obviously, with the men's ballet group. When I was first brought into the fray was uh, the shot over Jet Christmas Cracker. And, and David Kennedy um, had his officers down from the cafe. But if he hadn't asked me, I wouldn't be nearly as, I wouldn't feel nearly as much a part of this community as I do. Why do you keep coming back here after here? Well, Yelly comes back. There's something quite beautiful about something that you'd usually maybe do in private and doing it in public like that. <laughs> well, I don't know whether I'd do what I do in private in public. Because, I mean, it's very hard to talk with a pool ball in your mouth. <laughs> I guess he's probably one of the most tough to gate people in Queenstown. <laughs> <laughs> Full on and never stretch of the imagination, but as a very known, lovely bloke that would take the shirt off his back for someone and you know just actually a really caring guy under this bravado of oh, can I say bullshit? How important are memes to me? They're very important to me because I like to drill into things to try and get to the, the underbelly of any given story. I suppose this is the modern day um, faxing a rude joke. Well, remember faxing? <laughs> no? Is the fax me? Totally! Um, so there's little memes like. that highlight some of the absurdity that, that occurs in, in our community. We, we do have a city feel, but the reality is we're still a village. Is it GIF or Jif? Jif or GIF? I think it's GIF. I think, you think it's GIF? Yeah. See, I'm going GIF. I think we're done, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly in the GIF camp. Ugh.